Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we are talking about the most common thing in our industry and the least talked about thing, it's burnout. So if you've been in business for any amount of time or you want to know what's coming, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? How's it going? If it's your first time here, yeah, this is a, a, a morbid, uh, not morbid, it's a truth type, uh, not happy kind of uh, talk. But either way, we got 200 plus episodes. Go back and watch like 220 episodes to watch on going over four years. So definitely go back and check it out. Binge watch everything and tell me about your binge watching. I want to know. Uh, if it is not your first time here and you've watched all the episodes or at least a lot of them or heck, even a few of them, but more importantly, you've bought them from me. I'm your supply guy. Ah, virtual high five and shameless plug. Well, then thank you. It is because of you that I can afford all of these fancy stickers behind me. Kind of get them for free. But either way, Thank you so stinking much. Uh, a lot of you have also become an epic cool kid, meaning you buy your supplies from windowcleaner.com and, and, man, I don't even have any in front of me. And you uh, have subscribed to American Window Cleaner Magazine and you've gotten stickers. Well, thank you. By the way, if you guys want to support the industry, buy your supplies from me. It doesn't cost you any extra. My number is 862-312-2026. That helps support me because, you know, I need to eat to keep up my, my girlish figure. And subscribe to American Window Cleaner Magazine. If you haven't gotten a subscription yet, why the heck not? Be one of the epic cool kids. You get stickers every single month, but the magazine is absolutely awesome. You got something to read on the toilet, which is always something that's nice. Uh, but no, there's a ton of cool pictures, posters... Uh, new equipment, new gear, special. It's just a great magazine. Make sure to check it out. AWCMAG.com is the website. Just go there and subscribe because you're that awesome. Go and subscribe. Anyway. Uh, by the way, just between you and I, there is going to be a sticker club coming out soon at American Window Cleaner Magazine also. So if you don't get the magazine, you can still get a sticker club. People want to get extra stickers. And uh, you can also go buy stickers. If you want to just buy all the stickers, you can do that too. Anyway, all right, shameless plugs over. Today we're talking about burnout. And I have to tell you, this subject is the most common thing that happens in a small business. No matter what you do, it's the most common thing that happens. But no one talks about it, unless you're Brian Sauls, which is an amazing writer, by the way, for the American Window Cleaner Magazine. He always talks about like the downfalls, right? Like the negative stuff. What has happened? Learn from my mistakes, you know? Everybody else is sunshine. You go on Facebook, most of the time, 99.98% of the time, it's people like, oh man, I just made $400 an hour. Woo! Right? I just got this new order. Look at me. How cool. Oh man. Here's my trucks and guys. People don't go on there and be like, hey, I thought about closing my doors today. I did zero productive things today. I sat and watched YouTube all day. No one talks about that. But it 100% is a reality. Burnout happens. Here's the thing. Think about this. As entrepreneurs, as small business people in general, we work harder than anybody else around us. And people are like, I don't know about that. You listen, everybody thinks they work hard. But hear me out. Anybody else who works in an office, they have an HR department. They have a accounting and marketing and a CEO and a CFO. They have all of those people, payroll, HR. In small business, you're that. You're all of that. And then on top of that, you have the entire pressures of making the company happen. If you slack off and don't have hustle, your company dies. Everybody you have hired, if anybody, they don't have a job. You don't have a job, and all that time and effort is for nothing. You fail. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. A lot of times, 
we don't realize that pressure is doing something to us. What we do is we just keep going with it. Ah, this is hard, but this is what I love, man. I love doing this. This is great. That's why I make the big bucks. LOL. Lulls. But the truth of the matter is all of those pressures and how hard we work burns us out. It does. Even if you think you're the toughest person, the chillest, most relaxed person, it burns you out. I'm going to tell you, I consider myself a pretty chill dude. Like, I'm pretty calm, collective. Uh, I always see the positive in things. Always. Like, you can choose if you see positivity or negative. Like, if it's raining, awesome. It's great for the plants. I don't have to water my lawn. Right? You can focus on the positives or you can focus on the negatives in every situation in your entire life. It doesn't mean you have to be blind that negatives are happen. It just means that you're focused on the positives. You're focused on the positives. I feel like I'm that. So it's not a mental thing. If you're the type of person who is a negative thinker, it has absolutely nothing to do with that. It can't be something where you're like, oh man, I'm just getting so burnt out. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think positive. It's not mindset. That may help you burn out quicker. But there's a lot of other things that come into that. All those pressures. Everything comes down to one. What do you do when you feel burnt out? I'm telling you right now, if you're new, everything is exciting. It's like dating somebody, right? Oh man, everything's everything's new. I haven't seen her bedroom, you know? I haven't been inside her car. Oh man, we have to go to this one restaurant. Oh, I, I don't know if she likes zip lining. We're going to do that. Everything's new. Everything. Grocery shopping together. That's new. All of a sudden, people get married, right? And listen. You don't have to tell me how awesome your relationship is and your marriage. I understand that too. But things change, right? Nothing is new and exciting anymore when you know somebody so stinking well. It's the same thing with your business, right? You get your business, your first, you know, big check. You're like, oh man, I can't believe I got a check for a thousand dollars. I can't believe I got a check for five thousand. I keep ten thousand, like twenty thousand. As things go, all of a sudden, you've got a bunch of $1,000 checks, $5,000, $10,000. You've got a few $20,000 checks. Well, you get another $20,000 check, you're like, man, 20, 20 Gs, that's awesome. That's your excitement, though. It's not new, right? So the thing is, is you almost fall out of love with your business. Now, seven-year itch happens in business also. Now, usually in business, it happens less than that, about five years. Five years is when you start disliking things right you're like uh you see a lot of people that have businesses for only five years they're like yeah i don't want to do this anymore i don't know and there's a bunch of things it's just getting burnt out you're going to get burned out if you have been burned out tell me in the comments on youtube tell me your story about being burned out if you're new you will burn out but there's a few things to do to kind of get you back on the big one which again, most of us, almost all of us, have some kind of form of ADD. We bounce all over the place. That's why we're in small business. I don't want to work for somebody else. I can't sit in a cubicle. I needed to be doing a bunch of things. We have that. So what happens with that, especially in business ADD, is that we focus on so many things, it calms our brain. Well, all of a sudden you start getting bored of things. You can't hyper-focus on anything, which I know some people take medication for their ADD. That's awesome. By the way, if you have if you have ADD, give a thumbs up to the video on YouTube because I do. But you can function with it. I actually, my wife actually got me a book and it was like the blessings of ADD in a small business or something was the title. It was very interesting because I knew a lot of the stuff, but it was a good read. Um, but a lot of times you can use that to your advantage. So re-excite yourself. If you're feeling burnt out, just things suck. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. Open up yourself and get re-excited, right? Set goals. That sounds like the nerdiest thing I've ever said. Oh, you want to be excited? Set some goals. <laughs> That's not what it is. But what it is, is that you can look at the long term. Set goals, expectations. That can excite you again. Be like, you know what? Last year in July, we did $15,000. This year, we're going to do twenty-five, dollars and here's how. 
Now you have something to go for. A goal. You can hyper-focus on that one thing. Push it hard. You can do it. Yeah. Because when you get excited about something, that's when you like it. Think about a hobby. You go and you're a mountain biker. If it excites you, you want to do it all the time. As soon as it does not excite you anymore, you don't want to do it. That's business. Get excited. Reinvigorate yourself. Another big thing is is that in business, we don't remove ourselves from work. We don't take vacations. And if we do, there's just double the work when we get back. What you have to do just for the brain thing, which is super hard to do. The first two, three days are going to suck. And then by the last day, you won't want to go back. It's hard to turn it off. Remove yourself. Turn off your phone. Go somewhere. Do something that is zero work. We're in business. We're in small business. People go, "Um, I'm just too busy. I can't take any time off. That's a complete lie. You're the scheduler. You're the one that makes your schedule. If you don't have any staff that works for you, you're just a sole owner, then you just push stuff. If something's supposed to be done in a week, you just don't plan a week worth of work. Man, I'm going to lose a bunch of money. You're going to lose a bunch more money if you don't do it. You're going to destroy your business. You're not going to have the excitement. You're not going to grow because you're just not excited for it. Mental health is absolutely the most important thing you can do for your business. The rest of it comes. You're always going to make more money if you're good, right? You're always going to have more customers. You're always going to be fully booked. You're always going to... All that comes, but what doesn't come, what you don't get any more of is time. Listening to this already, you've used 10 minutes of your life. Now, hopefully it's on something to reinvigorate you, get your business or your mind right. Hopefully it's not been a waste. Uh, If it has been, I'm sorry. But you don't get that 10 minutes back. If you spend a year of just sucking, dragging your feet because you just are so burned out and you can't get back out of the hole, now you're selling a business that hasn't been any growth in a year. Now you're taking something and you're trying to, you know, just hope that it happens again. It's not going to happen. Nothing's exciting. Remove yourself from business for a week. Yes, it's possible. It is. I work a ton. A ton. I'm in front of my computer every day of the week for 13 hours. I do live chat for 13 straight hours, Monday and Tuesday. I do live chat all night, Wednesday and Thursday. I am on my computer and talking to people every single day from 10 a.m. I work a lot. I'm okay with that, right? But I have to plan a cruise. I have to do something that removes myself. I bought property in the mountains, just some land, nothing fancy. There's no reception there. So you know what? On weekends, I don't get calls. I don't get texts. I don't get any of that. I will call them back on Sunday when I get back. I will call them on Monday when I get back. If you call me or text me on a Saturday or a Sunday, I'm probably not going to get back to you until Monday. I have to turn it off just like you do. If you don't, it just continues to pile and pile and pile. Let me give you a dumb example because you know I love my analogies. In horses, cows, any stabled animal, meaning they live in a stable, right, or have a stable that they sleep, what happens is you put a bunch of fresh sawdust down. And they go in there and they're all happy. The animal's all happy. But guess what animals do? They pee. They take a number two. They do everything inside of the stable. Okay. They're going to do that. Well, the sawdust all of a sudden turns to concrete. Harder. Compacts. Oh, man. i got to put some more. If you put more sawdust on top of sawdust has been used, right? You're not doing anything but a temporary thing. Now, all of a sudden, there's two layers when that hardens up. The bottom layer is even harder. Three layers, four layers, and all of a sudden, the the doors to the, the stall or whatever, you got a foot of, of, of packed clay stuff. If you let that sit for a year and you don't clean them out, it's concrete and you'll never remove it. It will compact that much. Now, what if? Every single week, you do something. Every single time that you go to change that, you take out the old to put new in. You'll never pack it. 
It'll never be more packed than that week. Same thing with business. If you let everything weigh on your shoulder, weigh on your shoulder, weigh on your shoulder, weigh on your shoulder, and you never take some of it off and just like, okay, let's handle this, let's do this, let's that, you will collapse from the weight. I've seen it. I've had it. I had a burnout. This is probably five years into it. That lasted like 18 months. Seriously. It lasted a really, really long time. And in those 18 months, I hated everything about my business. I just kind of went with it. I did growth, but all of a sudden, I'm not following plans, marketing. I'm not doing any of that because I just don't care. I'm sitting around watching YouTube waiting for the day to be done. My brain wasn't in it. And you know, if your brain's not in your business, you're going to lose so much new work. Your growth will stop. You'll become stagnant and start reverting. You will lose so much of it because your brain's not in it. You are the glue that holds your company together. They're your ideas that make you successful or fail. It's your brain that does the marketing the way it does. Does the pieces the way it does. Does the scheduling and the everything that goes on in your company is your brain. If you're burned out, you're not using it. Your company will decline. You have to go in and start listening. Oh, let me let me rephrase this. You guys know I'm a window cleaning resource. I'm a salesperson for windowcleaner.com. And I always say when I start talking about supplies, I'm sorry. You, I know you take this with a grain of salt because I'm a salesman. But, by the way, 862-312-2026. Just kidding. Uh, no, uh, we're not talking about supplies, but we're talking about media and things. And I have a lot of hands in this. I do the podcast. I have hundreds and hundreds of hours of content that I put out online for people, hopefully helping. I have done this magazine uh, company and we have, you know, a, a, a ton of people who are subscribed to the magazine. Hopefully it's helping them. I do all this stuff. I get it. But I'm not just talking about the stuff I do. I'm not talking about American Window Cleaner Magazine. I'm not talking about WCR Nation podcast. I'm talking about everything, including those. But you have to listen to podcasts. Do it on sales. Do it on business. Service business. Small business. Listen to WCR Nation. If it's your first time here but you're feeling burned out, you came because you saw the title, listen to a bunch of other episodes. These, Everything that you add into that are like little breaths on the embers. Eventually, it'll turn to a flame. Podcasts. Books. Magazines, of course. If you don't have a subscription yet, Get a subscription. I'm sorry. Shameless plug. I get it. But to anything you think that will help, get a subscription. It just gets your mind back into it. It may show you things that you haven't seen that are exciting because they're new. Books. If you're a book reader or a book listener, get podcasts or uh, audiobooks. Get paper books. Read or listen to books that you don't think you would have thought about. Sales books. Your business is all sales. Everything you do is sales. Psychological selling, right? Rebuttals. Adding value. There's so many things out there that you can read that'll get you more excited and start blowing those embers to fire things back up. YouTube. I'm a huge fan of YouTube. I don't watch TV. YouTube is TV, I know. But I watch YouTube. That's what I do. If I'm watching anything, it's going to be YouTube. And because you can see or watch everything you possibly, you can type anything in and you can find it. You can find some ugly guy in front of a camera talking about burning out in a small business if you're feeling burnt out on YouTube. You can watch or find anything. Watching that is all going to get your brain back into it. Remember, what we're trying to do, burnout, means that we're so tired of what we're doing we're pulling out. Our brain is backing out. It's like, oh, no, I can't. I don't have the energy for this. Get the energy back. Podcasts, books and magazines, YouTube, all that stuff goes into that. It's the visual side to it. If you're listening to podcasts, have something playing all the time. Pick up something that makes you excited about it. Another one is just getting people involved. A lot of us do this by ourselves. I had a business. I sold my business, for those of you who don't know. Um, with that business, I sold it after 16 years, 
17 years, 16, something like that. I'm out of it. But here's the thing. In that time, it was me. I had operations officers and I had uh, employees and techs and office people, but it was me. I didn't talk to my wife. My wife didn't even know what key would open my building, right? I kept it all to myself. The big thing that happens with that is that if you can't talk to anybody, no one cares. That's why you see so many people asking so many questions on Facebook. It's the only person they can talk to are these Facebook groups. Get someone else involved. If it's a spouse, tell them, hey, I just want to get you a little bit more involved so I have somebody to talk to. I would love your opinion on this. If you have office staff, bring them in to conversations. Start meetings with all of your guys. Do morning meetings. Start with a Monday morning meeting. Have people that you can talk to, bounce things off, get ideas, which are more important, but just don't let everything pack up on you. Remember, every time you talk to somebody about this stuff, you remove that layer in the stable, right? Talk to people. Don't be, don't be so reserved because I have gotten so many great ideas from other people. I had a new person start once and it was like his third day and he brought me a couple ideas like, hey, I know I'm new, but I just wanted to ask some questions. They were amazing. We implemented them. Guy was in doing this for two or three days. You're going to get ideas. Ideas make you excited. But you're going to get ideas. You're going to be able to leave some of what you have in your brain off. Because a lot of us are trying to make decisions, but they're up here. We're not physically asking anybody or physically even asking ourselves. We're just mulling them over. Refresh it. Clean it out. Right? Another one's removing the mundane. If you are doing a lot of mundane stuff, right? I got to open the mail and return emails and call the people for the schedule this week and all these little simple tasks. Find someone to do that. It can be a VA, a virtual assistant. It can be an in-house assistant. It can be an office goddess. It can be whatever but takes that load off you because guess what? The mundane every single day. Time to make the donuts. Time to make the donuts. If that is what's happening, that is what's wearing on you more than anything. Because remember, if we're not excited about something, we get our burned out. We get burned out if it doesn't bring us joy. And I'm telling you right now, stuffing envelopes, getting a DDM together, making the mundane phone calls of like, hey, I'm just calling to let you know we'll be there on Tuesday, 7 a.m. Is there any other services? All that stuff can be done from somebody else and remove the mundane from you. More time for you to be excited. More time for you to find new jobs or do the research or listen to the the podcasts and and read the magazines, right? It frees you up to do all that other stuff that will get you excited. Remove the mundane. You do not have to be the person that does all of that. You can absolutely fill somebody else's time. I started our office uh, goddess uh, four hours a day. And that lasted for like weeks. And I'm like... you. I got to go to eight hours. I got so much more stuff you could do. Great. Increasing all of that workload on somebody else frees you up for what you want to focus on. I said this with sales. If you can give somebody the mundane stuff and they're doing eight hours a day of just stuff that you had to try to condense down, not only are they doing more than you could have ever done because you have to do everything else also, but now if they can even take free you up for two hours and you spend those doing sales, Or marketing, bringing in new customers, that's growth. That's company growth. I would 1,000 billion percent rather see you spend your time getting new customers than putting things in an envelope. See what I'm saying? You're valuable. You know you're valuable. Your brain is valuable. Free up your brain. Free up yourself. Allow yourself to be as valuable as you are. I'm telling you, this is not some stupid, I'm kissing your butt because that's what you do. That's not me. Listen to my episodes. I'm not kissing your butt. What I am telling you is, is your business is where it is because of you. If you don't believe that, look at the success rate of new small businesses. 90% of new businesses fail. That already puts you in in a category by itself. You're important because of your brain. 
because of what you're doing. It's because of you. Free that up to be able to do that stuff. It also will get you back regenerated, re-excited, invigorated, all that fun stuff. All the rewords. Remember, if you're running a business and you are not focused on all of the distance, you're only looking at the short term like, oh man, tomorrow's going to suck. But you're not looking at the long term. What am I going to close this year out by? I'm recording this in August. What's this year going to be? What's Q3 going to finish off at? What's Q4 going to be? What's the annual 2021? What's 2022 look like? 2025, right? If you're not looking at all of the distances from where you are now, all the timelines, you're stuck. It'd be like driving a car in the fog. In a whiteout snowstorm, you can only see five feet ahead of you. What happens? Accidents, pileups, right? 37 car pileup on the inter- because of a whiteout. You can't see the long term, you're only looking the short term, you're going to crash. It's the same thing with your brain. If you're only focused on, say, tomorrow, you don't have that excitement for the big things. You don't have that push for some of the others. You have to look at the long term, the full term, the full time. You have to look at the entire thing. If you could just zoom out, you know, they say, well, look at your business from 5,000 feet. If you could zoom out and see the big picture, it helps you understand that there's so much more. As you're starting to burn out, the blinders are starting to go. And every day it builds on and all of a sudden all you can see is that day. I remember, I remember sitting there like, man, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, I've got like four more hours before anybody shows up. I didn't have to be at work. I could have left. But in my brain, I'm like, well, if I at least stay here, then I'm, I'm at work. I can't just go home, right? That would be nothing. But I could sit at work doing nothing. I could sit at work, do nothing, And feel like, well, at least I didn't waste the day that bad. You're wasting the day. You're wasting your brain. All of that's piling up. Every single day is piling up. When you get to that bottom and you're under a boulder, it doesn't matter. You're still under a boulder. No matter if the sun is shining or not, you're still under a boulder. Having all that, looking at everything, allows you to not see the today. Yeah, I got four hours today, but guess what? Next week's going to be huge. Oh, I, I got some time. I could, I could pack that in, man. I could get these guys working. I could, I could do this, right? Oh, we're coming up on fall, man. I got to get on gutters. Dude, I want to do like 30K in gutters in November. How do I get to that? Oh, man, I got to do eat. Yeah, I got to do that. Put out the distance. Get it in your head because I could be excited about pushing these gutters. Man, we're going to make, we're going to have a big year on gutters, man. Snow removal? Oh, snow removal is coming up. I got to get everything ready. The contracts. I'm going to get some new equipment too this year, man. That one truck's just not. Get back. Look at the big picture. Allow your brain to open up. Get excited about things again. Re-excite yourself with goals and expectations. Remove yourself from business at certain points. You need to take a vacation. You need to focus on family. You just need to focus on something else. Listen to those podcasts. You're listening now. First awesome step. High five. Get a magazine. If you haven't gotten it, it's like $5.75 a copy. Buy your subscription and you get stickers on top of that. Get that. Read books, YouTubes, all that stuff. Get somebody else involved. Take some of the burden off. Somebody to talk to. Somebody bounce ideas off and gather ideas. Remove the mundane. Get VAs. Get assistance and look how farther all that stuff's going to help you burn out because you will burn out. If you're not there now, you will be there. Remember what we talked about. Remember this. This is all stuff you're going to learn when this time comes, when it does, you'll be ready. There you go. Sucky, sucky schedule because burnouts, burnout's so tough. Burnout is so tough because it's just one of those things that you just don't feel like you can come back from. Sometimes it just, it's tough. But it's totally doable, so definitely do that, listen, and and hopefully that'll help. If you haven't, let me be your window cleaning supply guy, because it rhymes. 
but it's like a virtual high five. By the way, if any of these videos ever help you, comment on the YouTube. That helps our algorithm. Be like, yo, dude, this is awesome. Or, dude, this sucks. Or, dude, your haircut is ugly. Or you could be like Jacob Dell and um, the other dude who does not watch the podcast. But make fun of my lack of facial hair. I don't care. But comment. It definitely, definitely helps. But I want to be your rep. My number is 862-312-2026. Yes, that's a cell phone. If you ever need help bidding a job, something maybe a little bit bigger than your normal. Questions. How do I get that window? I've never run across this. Equipment questions or equipment purchasing. That's what I'm here for. I want to be your guy. I want to be your guy. There's probably some song that should come to head, but anyway, 862-312-2026 is my number. And if you want to go above and beyond, it'd be awesome. Get the subscription. Right now, if you get a subscription, you actually get a free six sticker sheets in uh, your... Uh, as soon as you order, they come to you within a couple weeks. So you get some stickers to make your buckets and stuff look like this. Huh? Pretty awesome. Get the subscription, man. $5.75 a month. That's what it costs. Do the math. That's nothing. That is nothing. It's less than the price of a cup of coffee if you buy fancy coffee. No, but get the magazine. AWCMAG.com is the, the website for that. You can also buy a bunch of stuff on it. But either way, don't let burnout happen to you, but more importantly, go out there and be 